Hi, this is JP Morgan. Today on the Slam Lens, we're going to review this new bag by Vanguard. It just releases this week. It's called the Out to Fly 55T. The T stands for travel. This is a bag you can take onto the airplane and put overhead. Four wheels so you can roll over through the airport without any problem and a backpack. Pull the straps, put it on your back if you need to haul it up a set of stairs or up a mountain when you get on the location. So great to go on the airplane, in the overhead and up the mountain if you need to do that as well. So some of the features that make this bag very interesting to me. First and foremost is the fact that it does have four wheels. I mean, everyone loves the four wheels. You got a handle that comes out, so you can just simply pull this along. It's on four wheels. You can stand it next to you. Jolene always laughs because she takes this, guy, this bag and she pushes it along with one hand while I'm working and struggling with my big, heavy, heavy bags. Open it up and got a great inside. Got a net to hold your stuff in place if you're gonna open it up uh, more vertical can unzip this and we just got plenty of room in here you can easily get two cameras with lenses and several other lenses along the sides it just gives you a really good kit to take when you're traveling on location you also can pull this thing out and it becomes a suitcase now you can use this just simply as an overnight bag if you don't want to use it as a camera case it's great for that as well it's got a zipper right here so you can look inside and see all the guts oh there are the guts okay zip that back up we don't want to look at the guts anymore so it's just a great travel bag with regards to you got your your bag here if you want to travel with it in the front here we've got a pouch here if you want to put your laptop which is fabulous you can slide your laptop in here which is easy to travel with in that on the front we have we'll put this back in see it goes in and out really easy a little velcro on there back in and ready to go again in the top here we've got a, a rain cover that'll cover the entire uh, case and we've got a, a lock, a security lock. If you want to put a TSA lock, you can put on it as a carry-on airport uh, bag. Back, we got, we got our straps. If we want to make this a backpack, these pull off, connect to this, the uh, waist strap. And now we've got ourselves a backpack. So you really can go straight from the airport to on location. If you've got to take this up a mountain or any place you need to get to to be able to carry your stuff. Got a shoulder, uh, your waistband here so I keep the weight up on my hips which is what I really want. And the nice thing about this is that if I'm going to put this on my back, I've got a roller bag here. In here are covers that come out and cover the wheels. So that now the wheels that have been dirty and rolling through all the who knows what get covered. And when I throw this on my back, I'm not going to get any of that muck on the back of my back, on my clothes. So I think that's a really interesting. Who thinks of stuff like that? I think that's pretty darn cool. So this front pouch is really interesting to me because in here, Vanguard always has this, which I think is really a great concept. And that is they've got a place to put cards that are not shot. And then you have red for cards which have been exposed. So you can put your cards in here, have this on the side here and put all your uh, SD cards in there so you know that they're they're taken care of and on your back and not gonna drop out and fall somewhere. So I thought that was really interesting. All kinds of zippers, other pockets, pockets behind pockets for pockets. So a bag like this would not be complete unless you could carry a tripod. Right on the side here, we got a little pouch that's going to house our tripod. So we'll pull that guy out. So this is the Alta Pro 2 Plus. It's gonna just fit right in there. And then this strap's just gonna come around it. I'm gonna click that right on there. Easy peasy, got our tripod in place and ready to go. That's a great little pouch on the side. Puts that tripod so it's gonna not hit your elbows and arms. It's up high enough that it won't hit your elbows as you're walking. And it gets it up here where it's not gonna bother anything. We got an excellent handle on the side here, which I love that anytime you have handles on the side, so you can pick it up and just carry it like a suitcase because a lot of times you need to do that. This works with the tripod. You can carry it just like that if you need to. But there's a lot of different ways we can configure this. So let's look at, let's lay it down. Okay, so we can get in here a Mark III with a 7200 millimeter lens. I'll put a 2470, a 90, and a 35, a 15 to 30, and an 85, and two batteries, a light meter, because that's just the way I am, a couple extra batteries, and cards, and a Leatherman. And then, oh, you can't put a Leatherman on the airplane. Get that out of there. And last of all, my 15 inch laptop. And drop this up here on top, pull this over so it closes it in. And now we zip this baby up and we are ready to go. 
So there you have it, the Altafly 55T by Vanguard. Just an excellent four-wheeled bag to be able to travel with. Helps you get where you need to go. You know, if you want to get where you need to go with regards to your business, we have great business classes over on thuslandlens.com. We've got an estimating course there. It'll help you know how to estimate, to know exactly what you should charge, so that you'll be able to look professional, to be able to charge what you really deserve and what's important for you to make. Get over to check out that download at thuslandlens.com. So if you like this video, give us a thumbs up and a comment, and make sure you subscribe to The Slanted Lens. Also, follow us on Facebook. Lots of great things happening on all those platforms, including our Instagram. So get over there and check us out as well. So keep those cameras rolling and keep on clicking.